In this video, we're going to be working on our mystery box. So we're going to try to give it some functionality. We have some basic animations for it, such as opening and closing. So we're going to try to figure out, I've never done anything quite like this before, but try to figure out some ways to uh, yeah, get this functional. But we first need to actually make the class for it. We'll go down to C++ classes, project, public, Nazi zombie, usables, and interactable base. We're going to right click, create a C++ class derived from interactable base. Leave everything else the same, and I'm going to call this one mystery box. Confirm that the paths are correct, and hit create. Might take me a little bit. I'm going to close down. Everything aside from interactable base and wait there we go finally reloads open up the mystery box cpp and header To include the correct path. In my case, it's project name public not zombie usables mystery box at h. Go ahead and generate the constructor. Like so. Go figure, I got interrupted again. So we have our constructor here. Go to interactable base. And so here we're going to want to go ahead and add the skeletal mesh. So we're going to do a protected section. A U property. Following the same settings. So edit anywhere. And whatever category you choose it to be in, and it's going to be for declared you skeletal mesh component. Call it mystery box mesh. Go to the CPP. Include components, skeletal mesh component, and mystery box mesh equals create default sub object a Mr. Skeletal Mesh Component. I'm doing this in others. Follow along and keep it consistent. Okay. So, Skeletal Mesh Component. Then we set it as the root, so root component equals mystery box mesh. So now we need two animations. I'm going to go ahead and start the compile. So copy the U property. We're going to do U, anim, or U animation asset. We look at our. Uh, let me confirm real quick. Well, we oh, weapon base. Yeah, U animation asset. Just confirming. So for declare U animation asset, open animation. And same thing for close animation. I have a public section. It's going to do a virtual void use and override it. And it should take in, yep, a Nazi zombie character as a parameter. So we're overriding our use function. Alrighty. 
so for now we're just gonna open and close it essentially well for now just open it so we're gonna do if open animation history box mesh play animation open animation I think that's just a false positive there. No, well, then we'll make sure that that all works. All right, I need to actually include a include it. What was the include? So Mr. Box at CPP, we're including the anim instance. Okay, that is not it. Pretty sure. Just be play animation. Let me check the barricade. Oh, do I have to pass in the parameter? Oh, I guess so. I thought it was false by default. So we're going to pass in false because we do not want it to continue looping uh, the uh, opening animation. All right. Let's create a blueprint derived class from it. So our mystery box, right click, blueprint class, blueprint classes, usables, BP underscore mystery box. Now let's set the mesh to the mystery box. Should have the open animation. Open animation and close animation. Compile save. And I need to add a cost. So I'm going to give the object name of mystery box. And let's drag it out. Let's look. This. So now pretty much we need, we don't really have any sort of collisions on it. So let's look at our barricade for example. I didn't know that I actually had that. So I guess we create a collision mesh on it. So did I do that in C++ or in Blueprint? Okay, I guess I did it in C++. So from our barricade.h, we're going to copy our collision mesh, go to our mystery box.h, paste it in. We're going to do the exact same setup that we have in our barricade. The collision mesh is create default sub object for a static mesh component. So we include static mesh component. And realistically, it should track with the mystery box regardless, but we can still do collision mesh setup attachment to the mystery box mesh, like so. I'm going to do the same thing for our barricade. Collision mesh setup attachment mesh comp. I'm not really keeping consistent with the names here, but I should. And finally, we're going to add the cost. So in mysterybox.h, we're going to add one more U property for cost. By default, set cost to equal 950. And now we need to override begin play. So I'm going to copy the begin play override, put it in our mysterybox.h. Then create the 
documentation for it and copy the UI message. So call super begin play. I just realized a uh, improvement we can do. So in barricade.cpp, set replicates is set to true. Uh, I want to do that structure of interactable base. So we're just going to set that in interactable base, remove it from barricade. And by default, it should be set to true. Okay, so now we have our mystery box mesh, our collision mesh, and it's set up to be attached to our mystery box mesh. We have our cost. Our cost gets added to the UI message. We should be pretty much good to go. We have removed the... Start this real quick. We have removed the uh, set replicate from begin play of barricade and moved it into the constructor of a interactable base like I should have done a while ago. Let me make sure weapon base is the same. It should carry over. So I want to just, I'll do a check whenever the game's launched. That'll kind of answer it for us. So if it does carry over, a mystery box should be set to replicate. Assets. Search for replicate. All right, so it does carry over. So that means weapon base .cpp, I, We can remove the set replicates. So back to our mystery box. We have our collision mesh here. And actually give it a mesh. So I'm going to do the cube. Make it follow along with the size. Right. That way it's pretty close. And then we're going to search for visible. We're going to uncheck visible. Make sure visible and ray tracing is checked. So compile save. Let's look. It has collision. So press F to buy a mystery box. 950, press F. It opens every time we press F. So our mystery box is now working. I actually want to take a collision mesh, make it a good bit taller. That way it cannot be stepped up on. About like so. Then just uh, hide it. So hopefully we shouldn't be able to jump up on it. Or I'm at the perfect height between that and the roof. a little higher because we're also going to be lowering the jump height too there we go i'll just add a collision barrier so never mind go back how it was i'll save we have a mystery box whenever we press f i get just a little higher I'm doing this to make it a little easier to uh, hit with our line trace. Uncheck visible, compile save, and there we go. So it's a lot easier to press F on it now that the size is a good bit higher. So we have our mystery box. I'm gonna save all, 
And now that that's the basics is kind of done, we can begin working on actually setting it up well, to function like the mystery box in War to War. So once we are, uh, yeah, that'll probably be started on the next video. It'll be just a quick little section for this. Anyways, if you like what I'm doing, a link to my Patreon is in the description. You can help support me. If you have any questions or anything like that, there is also a link to my Discord server where you can ask really whatever regarding game development, software, I really don't care. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.